How is natural gas being utilized in the United States? Natural gas utilization in the U.S. and beyond, uh, for the most part, is going towards power generation, and it has been for a number of years now. We do see that increasing. There's a large array of new plants that are coming online, or have recently come online, or are planned for the, for the near future. So we see new pipeline connections going to those locations, and we anticipate uh, more of that same development uh, on that scale uh, going forward. Along with that, we also see a number of other uses that are increasing for natural gas. Transportation would be a good example. Uh, we see more natural gas going into uh, transportation, mainly with uh, heavy trucks, uh, but to some degree even with light duty trucks. There is some uh, in a uh, passenger car uh, standpoint, from a passenger car standpoint, but actually very little in that case. Beyond all that, we also see natural gas going to other forms of transportation. Uh, inland uh, marine application, for instance, like tugboats in Pittsburgh. We also see natural gas uh, being used for uh, near shore operations, so container ships, for instance, that are moving goods up and down along the coast or uh, other near shore operations in marine uh, type settings. So that's becoming uh, much more common than it was and we see the infrastructure to supply that fuel to that type of transportation mode being more common. We also have the use of natural gas going towards uh, rail. So we have a company, GE for instance, that is now making a new generation of locomotive to move uh, goods that are moving by rail uh, throughout the country. And one of the bigger constraints there is an infrastructure to supply the fuel source. Whereas in the past it was diesel or electric, uh, now you would have to build a new grid uh, for a fuel delivery to be able to deliver, in that case, LNG into that setting. Beyond all those things and thinking beyond transportation, we also see communities now that are uh, going through a conversion process and moving away from fuel oil or coal and moving towards natural gas as more natural gas or the natural gas grid is expanding in closer proximity to them and they can convert their residential or uh, even in some cases light industrial capacity over towards uh, natural gas. And uh, along with that, or tied to that, we have virtual deliveries or virtual pipelines as they're often referred to, where natural gas is compressed uh, at the pipeline, uh, put into special containers that are put on trucks and then delivered into those other settings where natural gas can displace uh, coal or uh, most commonly diesel or fuel oil uh, at a factory setting or in, into a community where the, they didn't have uh, that opportunity in the past. So we see a variety of different uh, pathways that natural gas is finding its way into locations uh, where it may not have been or may not have been to the level that it is now. So ultimately you have more capacity at the upstream side with production and you have more downstream utilization, whether it's in power generation or transportation or other uh, industrial or residential uses of natural gas that did not have them in the past.